Well, good morning, everybody. This has been a bit of a sad week for me in that first we lost Ravi Zacharias, age 74. And then towards the end of the week, we lost David Paulson, a man who had considerable impact on my early years. I traveled with him to Israel, the first time I ever went, and have continued to enjoy his preaching and teaching ever since. I had him to Beulah in the early days and uh, enjoyed getting to meet him personally. The next section of Isaiah is a group of 12 prophecies concerning 11 nations between chapters 13 and 23. I don't propose to go into detail with all of them, but just to make this note, no, the Lord is the Lord of the nations. And Isaiah is a prophet to the nations. Isaiah focuses on the qualities that are prevalent within the societies that he speaks to and the outcome of their chosen way of life. And particularly in the first oracle, which is directed towards Babylon. Babylon stands in the Bible as an icon that conveys everything bad about human pride its attempt to build something permanent and something impressive but independent of god whenever israel was tempted to put their trust in the nations god reminds them nations come and nations go if you trust in the nations you will go but if you trust in the lord you will have a permanent inheritance. That's the comfort when we see righteous men of God, women of God, passing into eternity, that they enter their everlasting rest, the place of permanence. Whereas Babylon, for all its pride and splendor in its day, has passed away. It's been destroyed and lies in the dust. In chapter 14, Isaiah says the Lord will again have compassion on Jacob, once again he will choose Israel and settle them in their own land. Babylon, the jewel of the kingdoms, the glory of the Babylonians' pride, will be overthrown by God like Sodom and Gomorrah. It will never be inhabited or lived in throughout all generations. That's true to the very day that I'm recording this message. And yet Babylon itself must have felt so confident that it was going to abide forever. In Isaiah 14, 12, Isaiah says, How you have fallen from heaven, so morning star, son of the dawn, you have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid the nations low. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly. On the utmost heights of the sacred mountain, I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself a name like the Most High. But you are to be brought down to the grave, to the depths of the pit. The church fathers attributed this passage to Satan, but the reformers demonstrated that it's not really talking about Satan. It's talking about human pride that's what will be laid low and when we see those who've trusted in the lord individuals in nations giving themselves to god we know that he will raise them up and on the last day they will shine like the sun